The human mind is full of imagination and ingenuity. Just take a look at how many inventions are made every year, and in this instance, not only are new sports being created daily, but they are also becoming weirder and more unusual. Today we'll discuss some very unusual sports that you must know about. First up, chess boxing. This particular sport combines boxing and chess, two opposite sports. There are 11 rounds of combat, each lasting three minutes between two athletes. As a result, athletes Athletes regularly alternate between playing chess and boxing before returning to their chess game. There are three ways to win a game. Knock out your opponent, checkmate your opponent, or have both players play longer than the allotted chess time, which is 18 minutes in total. What could be better than striking the ideal balance between intellect and physicality? Next off, the mascot race. As the name implies, it is obvious that to participate you must dress like a mascot. However, there are no set rules because these races vary from one event to the next. The majority of the time, this is an obstacle course where numerous mascots compete simultaneously, entertaining any audience. Next up, wife carrying, or yukon kanto. Teams of two people participate in this discipline, which developed in Finland. A man and a woman must be on each team, and an obstacle race needs to be finished as quickly as possible. The critical issue is that the man must carry the woman all along the route without making her collapse. So, who can you you trust to try that odd sport. Next off, baby race. Have you had a child? Now's the time to force him or her to engage in a task at their level. Baby races are growing in popularity and frequently bring joy to parents and children. The races are often conducted over a distance of around 10 meters and only one rule is required. Standing is not allowed. Otherwise, this sport is a surefire way to have fun with your little one no matter what. Next off, the cheese rolling. This custom, which originated in England, is particularly well liked. This strange sport is running after a 4.1 kilogram round of cheese during a race held up a hill. The objective is to catch the cheese, but since it can move at a speed of roughly 110 kilometers per hour, the most practical purpose is to be the first person to reach the base of the hill. On the other hand, this sport is very prone to injury. Therefore, you must exercise caution. Next up, the swamp soccer. This brand new activity combines soccer with insanity in a divine way. The aim is to kick the ball and score by hurling it into the other team's goal. On the other hand, it is possible to knock over rival players because of the muddy terrain on which the game is played. Suppose you hit an opponent too viciously to heighten the enjoyment. You must kiss his wound and continue the game while wearing a sack over your head for one minute only. Additionally, since the teams are mixed, everyone may enjoy themselves. Next up, the office chair race. This race, which is being held in Germany, involves sliding down a 200 meter slope in your preferred office chair. Participants are encouraged to perform well to wow the audience since their creativity can win points. It's the ideal activity for those gloomy office days. Next up, the ultimate taser ball. This strange sport is only for those without chilly eyes. In this game, players must score goals, much as in soccer, just with a giant ball. Very entertaining, but made more terrifying because each participant is armed with a laser gun. To take the ball, players can startle their opponents. Fortunately, the shocks are not as powerful as those from the cops, but you still need to move quickly to avoid them. Next up, Slam Ball. This new activity is an intriguing fusion of trampoline use and the widely played sport of basketball. The game's objective is to accumulate points by making baskets and concluding with more points than the rival squad. In two blocks of four, eight trampolines are arranged on the ground around each basket. Since collisions are allowed, you must run, jump, and watch your back to score points. Next off, Sipak Takra. This new sport resembles volleyball in that it includes passing the ball between two teams and awarding points when the ball touches the ground of the opposition. Each team's three players are permitted three simultaneous encounters with each other on a field divided by a net. The main distinction between the two games is the complete ban on using arms and hands. Players must utilize their feet, heads, knees, and other body parts. Additionally, a player can make two contacts in a row without incurring a penalty, which results in different plays. It's undoubtedly an unusual sport. Next up, underwater hockey. Yes, you heard that right. There is underwater hockey as well as ice 
ice hockey, field hockey, and street hockey. In this variation, played in a pool, participants must push a puck into the opposing team's goal while apneic. This edition has only two sessions of roughly 10 minutes each, with six players per team on the field. Next off, disc golf. The only difference between this odd sport and ordinary golf is using a smaller, heavier disc instead of a ball. Additionally, disc baskets, into which the discs can be hurled, have replaced the holes. You'll surely hear more about this rapidly expanding sport in the years to come. Next up, underwater rugby. Like underwater hockey, this novel sport is played when the player is apneic. The objective is to use a saltwater-filled water polo ball to score on the opponent's basket, which allows it to sink. Both teams can put six players on the field at once and make any number of substitutions. Additionally, it is possible to grasp the ball carrier, making it a mighty contact sport. Do you believe you can hold your breath long enough? Next off, dodgebow. Here is a novel sport that combines paintball and dodgeball. Do you enjoy adrenaline? In the sport of dodgeball, you must remove the entire opposition team on a field with obstacles. Depending on the mode, your objective can be to take enemy flags, players from the opposite team, or anything else. You can defeat an adversary by contacting it with an arrow you fire, a successful strategy for realizing your ambition of looking like Katniss Everdeen. Next up, Quidditch. Your wish has come true. You can now enjoy the well-known Harry Potter game. Unlike the flying brooms, real-life Quidditch is identical to the movie, unfortunately. The objective is to score more points than the opposition at the game's end. You score points by passing the quaffle into one of your opponent's rings, 10 points, or by having your seeker successfully snatch a little ball from their runner, 30 points. If this occurs, the game is automatically terminated. The Muggles version is a brand new and quite intriguing sport. Next up, the paddle. The paddle is an uncommon sport that resembles tennis but with a smaller field, 20 meters long and 10 meters broad, and a wall-enclosed playing area. The game requires two players per team and is scored similarly to tennis, but unlike tennis, you can get points similar to squash by rebounding off the walls. It is unquestionably a sport with surprise plays. Next up, Bosa Ball. An unusual sport known as Bosa Ball is played on a field explicitly inflated for it. It consists of a trampoline where players can jump to earn points in the opponent's zone and an area enclosed by boss walls. Between three and five teammates, there are eight possible interactions with all body parts during the exchanges. Similar to volleyball, you score a point if the ball enters the permitted opponent zone. Next off, Bo Teoshi. This odd sport, which originated in Japan, requires two enormous teams, each with 150 players to compete. As a result, half of each team is on defense while the other half is on offense. The objective of the game is to knock the opposing team's pole down such that it is perpendicular or lower than 30 degrees relative to the ground. This game leads to a show with a Lord of the Mountain vibe that won't let you down. The key to the success of such big games is efficient team communication management, attendance, and availability monitoring to allow the coaches to prepare for the number of players that will be there. Next up, Yuji Kasan. In actuality, this new interest is a big snowball fight. Japan was the first country to define this sport's regulations and start counting matches. There are seven players on each team, and they must escape being eliminated by another side's snowball. Each team may prepare 90 snowballs in preparation to use against their opponents during this activity, which takes place on a field designed for this purpose. So why not give it a shot in the winter? This concludes our list of unusual sports that you must know about. These sports might not be for everyone, but they are incredibly fun and out of the box. Which sport out of these do you think is the most unusual? Which of these sports was your favorite? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.